presentation of Scholastic Scrimmage on WPSU is made possible in part by a grant from the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. 14 universities providing quality higher education opportunities in more than 120 areas of study, including fields like education, business, and medical professions. Information at passhe.edu. They come from schools all over Pennsylvania. They learn. Who wrote the of what the is the capital of Peru? They practice. West Beach is the capital of the capital of Iowa. They compete. Join us as they test their knowledge on Scholastic Scrimmage. And thank you for joining us for Scholastic Scrimmage here on WPSU. The competition in tonight's first game is between Bishop McCourt in Cambria County and Rocky Grove in Venango County. I'm David Price. Teams, let's get started with your quick quiz. Bishop McCord, you're up first. The Blue Nile and White Nile meet in what country south of Egypt? Sarah. Uh, Sudan. Correct. What human organ contains the islets of Langerhans? Mark. Liver. Pancreas. Who succeeded Andrew Jackson as president in 1837? Mark. Martin Van Buren. Correct. Who worked alone for seven years following the death of Jacob Marley? Mark. Ebenezer Scrooge. Correct. The Klondike Gold Rush of the 1890s took place in what U.S. state? Michael. Alaska. That is absolutely correct, and uh, that starts Bishop McCord off with 40 points. It is time to quick quiz Rocky Grove. What is the only continent that lies in all four hemispheres? Michael. Africa. Correct. Rods and cones are located in what light-sensitive layer of the eye? Michael. Retina. Correct. What president succeeded James Garfield after his assassination? Michael. Chester Arthur. Correct. Baloo and Shere Khan are characters in what Rudyard Kipling work? Michael. The Jungle Book. Correct. The Great Leap Forward was a policy of what Chinese communist leader? Michael. Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong is correct. And that is our quick quiz, uh, and that brings us up to a score of 40 to 50. Time now for a uh, toss-up question that both teams will have the opportunity to answer. A correct answer will earn you a follow-up. Let's go to round one. First toss-up is in the category of arts and literature. A farewell to arms and all quiet on the Western Front. Are novels set during what conflict? Michael. World War I. That's correct. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. True or false? The name Thought Police is given to the secret police in the novel 1984. True. Kelly. True. That is true. Geography. Toss-up question. <laughs> Kitty Hawk. The Outer Banks. And Mark. North Carolina. And Cape Hatteras National Seashore are all located in what state? North Carolina is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. To avoid the U.S., Russia, New Zealand, and Kiribati, what imaginary boundary sometimes strays from 180 degrees longitude? International Dateline. Sarah. International Dateline. The IDL is correct. History. Toss-up question. What wife of Peter III deposed him? Sarah. Catherine the Great. Had an affair with Gregory Potemkin and is known as the Great in Russia. Catherine is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. True or false? President Buchanan endorsed the Leavenworth Constitution that supported slavery and protected slaveholders in Kansas. True. Sarah. True. That is the Lecompton Constitution, so that was false. Sorry. Math and science, toss-up question. The King Salmon is sometimes known by what seven-letter name? That it shares with a, Michael. Chinook. Strong warm wind that sweeps through the Pacific Northwest. Chinook is correct. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. The change in what quantity for chemical reaction equals the change in enthalpy minus temperature times the change in entropy? It's something with heat. something with heat. something with heat. Kelly. Kinetic energy? That's the Gibbs free energy or Gibbs function. Pennsylvania, toss-up question. What town, named for Revolutionary War General Nathaniel Green, is the county seat of Westmoreland County? Sarah. Greensburg. That's correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. True or false? Gifford Pinchot created the Get the Farmer Out of the Mud plan to pave rural roads in Pennsylvania. Sarah. True. That is true. Social studies, toss-up question. John Quincy Adams successfully defended the 53 former residents of Sierra Leone who had escaped 
and taken over what Spanish slave... Michael. The Amistad. Spanish slave, slave ship in 1839. Amistad mm -hmm. is correct. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. True or false? Geronimo taught his daughter the 86 letters of the Cherokee alphabet that he invented. False. False. Kelly. False. That was Sequoia who did that, and you are absolutely correct. Toss up, categories geography. What island separated from the United States by the Strait of Juan de Fuca is home to a Canadian provincial capital? Kelly. Newfoundland. No. Nope. Bishop McCourt. Mark. Nova Scotia. No, it is Vancouver Island. Arts and literature, toss-up question. What Herman Melville novella, which was posthumously published in 1924, tells of a sailor who is executed, Michael. Billy Bud. On the order of Captain Veer. And there is some irony in that answer. More on that <laughs> in just a couple of minutes. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. What St. Louis native wrote the poems, The Four Quartets, The Hollow Men, and The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock? Kelly. T.S. Eliot. That is correct. Math and science, toss-up question. If the value of the discriminant of a second-degree equation is greater than zero, the equation will graph as what conic section? Michael. Parabola. Yes, it will. And your follow-up, Rocky Grove. What quantity equals the product of mass and velocity? No, momentum. Momentum. Kelly. Momentum. Momentum is correct. And that is going to be the end of a high-scoring first round. Our current score is 90 to 140. Means we turn to Bishop McCord at this time and say, you guys get the first fast track of the day. 60 seconds and 10 questions. Let's go. Fast track. Quicksilver is the nickname for what metal that has atomic symbol HG, Michael? Mercury. Correct. What European country is completely surrounded by both France and Spain? Mark. Andorra. Correct. What type of animal is Algernon in Flowers for Algernon? Sarah. Mouse. Correct. What explorer discovered Florida while looking for the Fountain of Youth? Mark. Ponce de Leon. Correct. In 1935, who became the first person to fly solo from Honolulu, Hawaii to Oakland, California? Mark. Charles Lindbergh. Amelia Earhart. What ocean borders both the Arabian and Malay peninsulas? Michael. Indian. Correct. What mid-19th century act included the Fugitive Slave Law? Mark. Alien and Emancipation Acts. Compromise of 1850 or Pierce. In 1979, what nuclear power plant near Harrisburg had a partial meltdown? Michael. Three Mile Island. Correct. Catherine Earnshaw lives at what title house of an Emily Bronte novel? Mark. Uh, Wuthering, Wuthering Heights. Correct. What physician gave the first successful vaccination against smallpox? Mark. Jonas Salk. No, Edward Jenner. And that is our first fast track of the day. Changes things up a little bit. We've, uh, we've met these folks before, but let us again meet our student scholars from Bishop McCord. Immediately to my right is uh, Sarah Rogers, senior captain. Last time we were talking a little bit about Juniata College and a little bit about Russia thinking, oh, the possibilities that could be. And you've gotten some news. Uh, it is a definite. I'm going to Russia. And uh, under what auspices are you going to Russia? Um... It's a scholarship. I have to take the language, of course. I wouldn't think I'm not taking the language. Uh, yeah, and how long are you going to be there? Um, for uh, one year, one summer, I can go for four weeks, and okay. then I get $3,000 towards my entire junior year. Excellent. Sounds like a great adventure. Good luck in that and, and your uh, first year of college as well. Uh, August Ayersman is a junior at Bishop McCourt. Now, it, all it says is building electron microscopes, and I didn't ask for a present or future tense on this. Um, is this something you do in your spare time, or is this coming down the line? <laughs> no, I built electron microscopes last summer. I like will, likely will be doing that um, this summer. How does one get started just building random electron microscopes? Well, it definitely starts out with br blueprints and a lot of money, because they're rather expensive. Yes, yeah, so I would imagine. And you get to look at really tiny stuff. It's good to see you, August. It's good luck today. Mark Pesto is a sophomore from Bishop McCourt, and uh, coming off of an athletic event of a week ago and what was um, that districts for swimming and what do you swim butterfly butterfly and um, so are you shooting for the Olympics are you the next Michael Phelps I can hope you can hope so all right it's good to see you good luck to you today Mark and Michael Prushnik is a, a junior for Bishop McCourt and uh, we just went, got back from a little bit of vacation where'd you head uh, yeah I went down to Florida for a week how was that awesome weather was great I like the sun 
get out of central Pennsylvania in the winter for a while. Oh, yeah. It's a good break. All right, yeah. it's good to see you, Michael. Good luck today. And the alternate for Bishop McCourt is Jeff Wainwright. And the coach is Fran Posen. And now it is time for round two. First toss up in round two is in the category of geography. The Basilica Notre Dame de, de Fourier overlooks what city? Mark. Paris. Nope. Finish the question for Rocky Grove. Where the Rhone and Saone rivers converge, the third most populous in France. Molly. Bath. Nope. It is overlooking Lyon. Social studies toss up question. What husband of Faustina the Younger survived a revolt by Awidius Cassius and was the last of the five good emperors and was succeeded by Commodus? August. Caesar Augustus. Nope. Rocky Grove. It was Marcus Aurelius who had an Augustus somewhere in his name down the road there. Pennsylvania, toss up question. What John Philip Sousa March is probably best known as the theme to the TV show Monty Python's Flying Circus? Mark. Stars and Stripes Forever. No. Rocky Grove. The Pennsylvania Connection is the Liberty Bell March. Current events, toss-up question. In October 2008, what country mediated the first talks between Hamid Karzai's government and the Taliban? under the auspices of King Abdullah in Riyadh. Michael. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is correct. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. In September 2008, the SEC temporarily banned for certain financial institutions what practice of selling shares or bonds that one doesn't actually own? Short selling, I think. Short selling. Short, short selling. Kelly. Short selling? Short selling is correct. Arts and literature, toss-up question. The Cloud Messenger is a Hinduism-based oratorio by what British composer of the Egdon Heath Suite and the astrology-inspired suite, The Planets? Mark. Gustav Holst. That is correct. Your follow-up, Mr. McCourt. The Heckle Phone is related to what woodwind instrument whose A above middle C is frequently used to tune an orchestra? Sarah. Oboe. Oboe is correct. Toss up. Categories <laughs> geography. What city located near the confluence of the Bagmati and Vishnumati rivers is the capital of Nepal? Mark. Kathmandu. That is correct. Your follow up, Bishop McCourt. What largest Mexican state shares its name with its capital city is home to the Ciudad Juarez and borders New Mexico and Texas? Sarah. Guadalajara. No, it is Chihuahua. History. Toss-up question. The Allied victory at the Battle of the Coral Sea thwarted a possible Japanese invasion of what country? Mark. Philippines. Nope. Rocky Grove. Michael. Australia. That is correct. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. The British Antarctic Expedition 1910 was the official name of what expedition popularly named after the transport ship and led by Robert Falcon Scott, the second to reach the South Pole? <laughs> Kelly? The Scott Expedition? The Terra Nova Expedition. Math and science toss up. Pencil and paper could help you out. What is the value of x if 20x plus 30 equals 40x minus 50, which simplifies to 20x equals 80? Michael. Four. That is four, Bishop McCourt, with the follow-up. What 17th century Dutch physicist was the first to propose that light could be treated as a wave? Sarah. Plank. Who is Christian Huygens? That is going to be the end of our second round. Our current score is 195 to 165, and time for our second fast track of the day. McCork got the first one. Rocky Grove gets the second one. The rules are the same, however. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Let's go fast track. What's the atomic symbol for aluminum? 
Michael. Yeah. Correct. What type of animal is Aslan in the Chronicles of Narnia series? Michael. Lion. Correct. What's the capital of Taiwan? Taipei. What Portuguese navigator discovered the sea route to Brazil in 1500? Molly. Pizarro. Pedro Cabra Cabral. The Marquis de Lafayette spent the winter of 1777 at what encampment with George Washington? Kelly. Valley Forge. Correct. The Aswan High Dam lies on what African river? Kelly. The Nile. Correct. What South Korean succeeded UN Secretary General Kofi Annan? Michael. Ban Ki-moon. Correct. What U.S. city adjacent to the Gulf of Mexico was just devastated by a hurricane in 1900? Kelly. Galveston. Correct. Bram Stoker created what noble who lives in the castle? Michael. Dracula. Correct. The brightest star in the night sky is what dog star in Canis Major? Michael. Sirius. Sirius is correct. Sights and Sounds is on the way. We take a little break now, though, to re-meet our student scholars from Rocky Grove, immediately to my left. The senior, Kelly Stallman, who is, uh, she's made the decision, knows where she's going. Big time decision time for a lot of seniors. Where are you headed? Duquesne University. Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. Yes. And uh, what are you majoring in? Health Management Systems and Pre-Optometry. That's really specific, because you're like yes. 18 or 17 or something like that. Uh, why the vision on that? Well, I'm actually going to become a pediatric optometrist because I've had glasses since I was 11 months old. So it's been pretty much my entire life already, and I just want to keep it going and help kids that went through everything I went through. I can only imagine how many times your parents chased your glasses <laughs> across yeah. the room. It's good to see you, Kelly. Good luck today. Uh, Molly Burkett, uh, we, we have a picture of the shoes that, that Molly is wearing at, at this time. I do believe, yes. <laughs> Molly, those are about the orangest shoes I have ever seen in my life, and that's what your feet look like on television oh, there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you don't expect some things in life, do you? No. So what's up with the orange shoes? Well, the orange shoes actually came from our coach's aunt, and she passed them on to our coach. And I'm infamous for wearing fun colors and uh, pretty extreme clothing pieces, so she decided I was first choice for the orange shoes. And they came in handy last last uh, round. We won, so I'm figuring they're a good luck charm. All right. And, and your feet are forever enshrined in the annals of television <laughs> oh, yeah. and on the World Wide Web. It's good to see <laughs> you. Good luck today. Uh, Jeremy Brown, got orange shoes on? Nope. No. No, okay. He, he's a junior, though, and uh, it's sports time for you. What do you play? Uh, tennis right now. Are you a singles guy or a doubles guy? Um, Both sometimes or right now. Like, first match tomorrow, I think I'll play doubles. Mm -hmm. yeah. How'd it go last year? Last year? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we we'll look forward to a better year. Some bad, but yeah, this would be better. All right. It's good to see you, Jeremy. Good luck to you today. Michael Crockett, a sophomore from uh, Rocky Grove. Now, we said earlier there was some irony in the question about Billy Budd, and that's because I knew that I was going to be asking him, and we did not discuss Billy Budd before the show, by the way, uh, about Herman Melville. So what's up with you and Herman Melville? He only wrote one book. He wrote Moby Dick, and that's it. He was born at age 39 and wrote Moby Dick and then died. And then published Billy Budd posthumously, as we er yes. learned earlier but never wrote on, uh, on Scholastic no, Scrimmage. didn't write it, though. It's good to see you, Michael. Good luck to you today. The alternate for Rocky Grove is mm -hmm. Morgan Hartman, and the coach is Susan Martin. And it is time now for Sights and Sounds. First out of the box, we've got a sound. <laughs> Kathleen Battle, whom you just heard, and Maria Callas, and, and, and others, sing in what typically female vocal range? From Molly. Soprano. From approximately middle C to high A in choral music and higher in operatic music. Soprano is correct. We direct your attention to the monitor for a sight. Matilda of Flanders was long credited with embroidering what 1070. Sarah. Bayou Tapestry. 1077 work, part of which you were seen here that shows her husband, William the Conqueror, vanquishing England's armies. Another sound, please. <laughs> which one of Tchaikovsky's three great ballets, an excerpt from which you just heard, is based on a fairy tale about a sorceress who curses a royal family, particularly Princess Aurora? Michael. Swan Lake. Nope. Mr. McCourt, Sarah. Sin, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is correct. Another sight. We direct your attention back to the monitor. The flag of what Southeast Asian country, with its capital at Manila, is seen here? Mark. Philippines. Philippines is correct. And one more sound, please. <laughs> A 
lots of heads going back and forth on that one. The song 76 Trombones, which you just heard, is featured in what musical? Mark. Music Man. That tells the story of the con man Howard Hill and his adventures in the town of River City, Iowa. And one more sight. What retreat seen here was once known as Shangri-La and later was renamed for one of Eisenhower's grandsons and is located in... Michael. Camp David. Catoctin Mountain. Camp David is correct. And uh, that tightens things up. It is time for the final round. First toss up in the final round. The category is Pennsylvania. The 1975 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction was awarded to Michael Shara. To what Michael Shara? Michael. Killer Angels. Novel about the Battle of Gettysburg told from the perspective of Army's commanding officers. Killer Angels, correct. Follow up, McCourt. What two proposed but never completed railroads in Pennsylvania, including one whose path became part of the Pennsylvania Turnpike, shared the same name? Sarah. New York Philadelphia Railroad. South Pennsylvania Railroad. Social studies, toss up question. Lester, excuse me, Lesser V. Garnett upheld what constitutional amendment ratified in 1920 that vindicated the silent sentinels and gave women the right to vote? Michael. Uh, the 21st Amendment? Nope, Rocky Grove. Michael. 19th. 19th Amendment 19th. is correct, your follow-up Rocky Grove. I'll need a name and a number or first and last name. What husband of Elizabeth of York and founder of the Star Chamber was the first Tudor King of England after beating Richard III at Bosworth Field? Henry VII. Henry the Sixth. Kelly. Henry the Seventh. Henry the Seventh. Tudor is absolutely yes. correct. Geography toss-up question. An underground canal in the Rove Tunnel is a link between the Rhone River and what Mediterranean port city? The second most populous in France. Sarah. Marseille. Marseille is correct. Your follow, Bishop McCourt. What U.S. state borders the Pacific Ocean to the west, Washington to the north, Idaho to the east, and California? And Captain's got to answer this one, and I'll finish it and then Nevada to the south. Sarah. Oregon. Oregon's correct. Arts and literature toss up question. What Irish poet who helped found the Abbey Theater wrote that a terrible beauty is born in Easter 1916 and also wrote Sailing to Byzantium? Mark. Yates. Yates is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. Two answers needed. What two reporters for the Washington Post broke the story of the Watergate burglary and co-authored All the President's Men? Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward. Sarah. Carl Bernstein and Paul. Bob Woodward. Bob Woodward. That is correct. Math and science, toss-up question. You see the score is tied. What Scotsman improved Thomas Newcomen's best known invention by adding a condenser chamber prior to the pistons in his steam engine? Mark. Robert Fulton. Nope. Rocky Grove. James Watt. History. Toss up question. Operation Detachment was the code name of the 1945 invasion of what island? 750 miles south of Tokyo where U.S. troops raised a flag, Sarah. Iwo Jima. On Mount Suribachi, Iwo Jima is correct. Your follow-up, Bishop McCourt. What man became both Israel's first prime minister and first minister of defense in 1948? Sarah. Ariel Sharon. David Ben-Gurion. Social studies, toss-up question. I will need first and last names. What 1920 Democratic vice presidential candidate later topped the tip ticket with running mates John Garner, Henry Wallace, and Harry Truman? Michael. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is correct. Your follow-up, Rocky Grove. Knossos and Phaistos were centers of what civilization located on the island of Crete, which used the linear A language? The Petrosco. Kelly. Mycenaeans? Minoan civilization. Pennsylvania toss up question. After the death of Catherine Baker Knoll in late 2008, who became Pennsylvania's lieutenant governor? Mark. Scarnati. Joseph B. Scarnati is correct. Your follow up, McCourt. 
In 1792, the federal government acquired and then immediately resold what tract of land to the state of Pennsylvania so that it would have a port city like other states in the Union. Sarah. The wedge? The Erie Triangle or Triangle oh. Lands. Wow. Last question. Game ending buzzer, our final game, our final score, Bishop McCord 300, Rocky Grove 290. Doesn't get any closer than that. Congratulations, Bishop McCord. You are moving on to one of the final four in Division II, Rocky Grove. Kelly and Molly, my two seniors, enjoyed having you so much. And uh, Jeremy and Michael, hopefully we'll be seeing you back next year. Tough, I hate to see the end of some games. Oh, thank you very much for tuning in. For more information about Scholastic Scrimmage, go to WPSU.org. Do be with us as we uh, have Richland taking on Shade to see who moves on in the Final Four in Division I. We are on the road to the Divisional Championships, and all three championship games will be broadcast at a special time in prime time on Thursday, May 21st, right here on Scholastic Scrimmage. We'd like to thank Justin's for providing special yearbooks for all the teams participating this year and rings for the championship team of Scholastic Scrimmage. For over a century, Jostens has been helping people celebrate, reward, and remember the greatest moments of their lives.